all I'm saying to you is, what are you consuming? Any. As I begin to study consumption, watch this. Let me backtrack and let me refract some things. The biggest animals are herbivores, not carnivores. The biggest animals are herbivores, not carnivores. And so I said, hold on. It's got to be some health association with vegetables, with your consumption to hold this mass. Hold on. And I begin to say, what are they putting in their bodies? So let me do a station of identification, toxic people. You become what you eat. Thankful how you handle it. It's infiltrate and pollute the core, Franklin, the entrepreneurs that are on here, business owners. <laughs> you move differently because hungry people move differently. Today, we're lifting our offering. I need my business owners to hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. I know the vein in which I speak. I need my business owners and my business owners only that there is a movement that the Holy Spirit is doing concerning those that are saying, Father, I need you to move and provide the clientele because the wrong ones keep coming. For right clientele are often today, he's going to ship your clientele. It's going to be empty for the first two months, but there's going to be a shift in clientele. It is 107. That is your offering. These are business owners. I'm talking to business people because business people understand business. My entrepreneurs understand. Hear me. God bless you, Minister Core Franklin. The entrepreneurs that are on here, business owners, business dwellers, hear me, whether you have a social media business or online business. Psalms 107 says this, for he satisfied the longing soul and the hunger soul he fills with good things. He's going to fill it with good things because when you got bad clientele, it's hard to reap good things because they don't understand business. They want something for everything. Your clientele is about to shift. It's 107. It's 107. These mom and pop businesses. Hear me? Hear me? I got you, Mika. I got you. I got you. I got you, Mika. Because the wrong clientele, you can't close your books right because the wrong clientele. It's the wrong clientele. Hear me? The wrong clientele. Everyone else, your, your offering is 37 or 27 on Psalms 23 and 11. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Go to www.carchronicles.org, dollar sign, CCM. Seven, 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 four, seven. Psalms 23 and 11. Your offering is 27 or 37. I, listen to me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. I shall not want. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my shepherd. God bless you, Pastor Timothy Newton. Bishop, you did that. Bishop Timothy Newton, he's coming back on a Sunday. Bishop Timothy Newton, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hear me. The Lord is my shepherd, my shepherd, and I shall not want. Hear me. Pastors that, it, bishops and pastors that you're on here. I need to speak to the bishops and the pastors. Bishops and pastors that are on here, ministers, if you have a church, hear me. It's 107. It's 107 to the Ecclesia. It's 107 to, to those that wear that office as bishop. Because the Holy Spirit began to speak to me last night concerning the church. There is going to be a movement concerning the church. Where the churches that are now working to, to kind of maintain the building. Or churches that are now trying to resuscitate the loss during the pandemic. There's going to be a movement and this movement that's going to happen on American soil is going to cause a, a, a flood of people to come back. But there's going to be a shift where there are going to be people that do not understand the business part or the aspect of ministry. And that's holding the ministry that has like the spirit of Korah. They're going to leave.
And so when Cora makes her exit, see, I can speak to bishops because bishops understand the verbiage. When Cora makes the exit and Cora leaves because what Cora is trying to do is infiltrate and pollute the ministry, you're going to see that there's going to be a shift, that they're going to come, that people are going to come back because they're going to be the replacement of Cora. They're going to come back, bishops, please hear me, and they're going to come back and they're going to be builders. They're going to have the javelin in one hand and the sword in another, and they're going to say, let's do it. And so when you're trying to do a ministry and Cora is present, Cora's assignment is to shift leadership. Cora's assignment is to mess up leadership. Cora's assignment is to destroy the church. Cora's assignment is that I'm going to get in and I'm going to start rumors, lies, slanders, and I'm going to mess up what you're trying to build and the whole someone said mm -hmm. someone said, oh you did he said wow i told my ministry this last night i believe it please hear me it's 107 hear me because bishops you got to do that because cora has now crept inside of something that the holy spirit said there's a hunger and thirst but cora is in the way these people want to work they want to do it they want to build they want to work they want the righteousness of god but cora is holding them up and cora is trying to infiltrate and cora is trying to demonstrate but cora is trying to destroy so he's saying i got to get cora out of the ministry Go to www.carchronicles.org. Go to dollar sign CCM 7777. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. 